Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to give a breakdown of facial peels. So many people have heard about facial peels, but I feel many people are really scared of facial peels and assume that they're really invasive procedures when in fact many of them are not and they're so beneficial for your skin and they can really transform the texture and tone of your complexion. So I'm going to give an overview as to what a facial peel is and why you would have one and what the key benefits are. So keep watching. peel from a scientific perspective is a procedure in which you're applying a chemical ablative agent to the skin surface and this is inducing keratolysis or keratocoagulation. So what this means is that you're applying a chemical exfoliation agent to your skin. So this could be mandelic acid or glycolic acid or lactic acid or salicylic acid. So many ingredients that people use on a day-to-day -day basis and it's inducing a very deep but controlled exfoliation in your skin. And the reason why we have this is because afterwards you get enhanced regeneration, enhanced remodeling, and you can completely change your complexion and even out the texture of your skin. They have been used in dermatologists' office for decades and they're very well established treatments. There are a couple different types of facial peels and they're categorized on how deep they penetrate your skin and how deep into your skin they exfoliate and cause an effect. Um, and this is determined by either the concentration of the chemical agent that's used, the pH of the chemical agent that's used, or the type. Um, it also can differ based on where the chemical agent is applied, so if it's applied where the epidermis is a little bit thicker, it's going to penetrate a bit less, or if your epidermis is very thin, it's going to penetrate much more. But the first type is a superficial facial peel, and so this acts in your epidermis, which is the outer layer of your skin, so it causes the deep and controlled exfoliation just in the upper layer of your skin, and you get the regeneration afterward. And there's minimal downtime with this procedure, and what I mean by that is, after the treatment, when your skin is healing, you're not going to get any excessive peeling and you're not going to have to stay home from work or um, take any time out of your day-to-day -day life because your facial skin is healing. The next type of facial peel is a medium deep facial peel. And so this exfoliates your epidermis and then hits the upper layers of your dermis, so the middle layer of your skin. So it's, it's a deeper action and the downtime after these facial peels is you know four to five days and you will notice some skin shedding and then the last type of facial peel is a deep facial peel and this hits your epidermis and then much deeper into your dermis into the the middle of your dermis and this is the most intense form of facial peel and the downtime after these facial peels can be two to three weeks where the top layer of your skin is is completely peeled When many people think of a facial peel, they have the idea in their head that all facial peels are like the medium deep or the deep facial peels where your skin is left very raw and red and it's peeling for weeks and they're very intense procedures, but this just isn't the case because a superficial facial peel is only hitting the top layer of your skin and you know inducing regeneration in that layer, so it's really helpful for scarring and texture issues and melasma. Um, but there's none of that downtime. And in fact, you know, you shouldn't be having this too regularly. And you should be working with an expert esthetician who's going to guide you on when exactly you need a facial peel so that you hit your skin goals. And when it comes to medium deep and deep facial peels, many people don't realize how invasive these are. Um, and in fact, many of these deep facial treatments on the market are having the complete opposite effect to what people want because they're leaving your skin so vulnerable and so raw, because they're damaging your skin so deep down for so many weeks, as your skin is healing, it's constantly being damaged by pollution or blue light from your computer or sunlight. And over time, if you're having these regularly, it is the opposite effect and you are accelerating aging. So if you find yourself in a clinic that's recommending to you to have a medium deep or deep facial peel, you know, once a month and very regularly, it's a good indication that maybe you shouldn't trust the information they're giving you. 
When you first start your journey with facial treatments with Dermois, we recommend that everybody starts with a vitamin infusion facial treatment. And this is going to infuse your skin with vitamin A, it's retinaldehyde, so a very potent form of vitamin A with a liposomal delivery system. And it's also going to infuse your skin with any active powders that will be tailored to your skin and what it needs. And then from here, your esthetician can assess the health of your skin and if she feels you need it, she's going to recommend to you a facial peel. So maybe if you have texture issues or scarring or melasma, whatever it may be. And we do believe that superficial facial peels are essential in achieving many people's skin goals and achieving healthy glowing skin but we believe in them when they're recommended by an expert and we believe in changing your skin slowly over time so that the long-term result is absolutely amazing because having you know a facial peel that is way too deep is maybe a quick fix but it's a massive gimmick because in the long term your skin is sagging and your wrinkles are worse after you're having a facial peel, you should stick with a mild cleanser and avoid exfoliation for a little bit of time around one week and use daily SPF and an emollient based moisturizer. But your esthetician is going to speak with you about the correct aftercare after your facial peel. So the benefits of a facial peel are is that it's you know really good at smoothing out your skin. So it'll smooth out any texture issues, pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. If you have acne or, or comedones on your skin, it's going to release those. And it really promotes a healthy and glowing complexion. And when many people wonder why celebrities have such smooth, soft skin, a facial peel is likely the reason why. So that's it for facial peels today. I hope that this gave a brief introduction into what they are and it changed some people's minds about facial peels because not all of them are scary. If you have any more questions about facial peels or any more questions about the PCA facial peel, please connect with us. We're always looking at our comments on YouTube. You can connect with us on Instagram. It's at Dermois Skin or you can look on our website. So Dermois.com or shop.dermois.com.